So starting off on Friday, uh, two free went pretty poorly. Um, I think that might've been my slowest two free since high school. Um, not really sure what to attribute that to. Um, uh, maybe just tired. First time racing long course in a while. Um, first prelim swims, you know, first time racing unshaved in a while, uh, maybe a combination of all that, uh, coming into Saturday and the 50 went significantly better. Um, you know, still not great, but significantly better than the 200. Um, you know, and then getting the win on, on a Saturday night was good. Um, it's always nice to, to race well. And then uh, today, 100 free. Again, not exactly um, ideal times. Uh, I feel like I executed a couple things pretty well. Uh, and overall, I mean, I think that the meet just kind of showed us where we are. Maybe we're pretty tired. And um, yeah. Yeah, I, I did expect to do um, pretty well, actually. Uh, and then uh, we also have been doing some, some time trial stuff, long course that I've been doing pretty well in. So I was a little surprised come Thursday uh, or Friday well, in that 200. But, um, and then especially, yeah, I'll come off ISL. Um, you know, I was pretty successful there and got some pretty good swims in. So I was expecting to do a little bit better, but I mean, it is what it is right now. It's January. So we're just uh, looking forward to the next meet. Yeah, it's definitely a huge part of, of um, swimming, especially with being in water. It's, you get so much uh, sensation on, on every, you know, touch point that you have. Mm -hmm. um, and it's kind of like we all, all the swimmers talk about, you know, the feel for the water is exactly what that perception is. Um, and so, doing a lot of drilling and stuff like that to make sure that you can, you know, anchor, anchor high and know what that feels like with, you know, that mind body connection. Gotcha. Thanks Zach. Yep.